Hello, everyone. My name is Tung, and I work in LINE's NLP team. Today, I would like to talk about our efforts under the title Developing a High Quality Language Model for Japanese. This is the agenda. First, I will explain the background of why LINE built language models. Then I will talk about the important challenges in the development of high quality language models. And lastly, I would like to talk about, I will introduce a Japanese language model developed by LINE. So why is LINE building language models? As many of you know, the research of language models in the world has been advancing rapidly in the past two years and the pre-trained language model has become the de facto standard in the field of natural language processing. Starting, starting with ELMO around 2018, pre-trained language models such as GPT and BERT have appeared. Since then, competition in this area has intensified among world's largest companies and AI research institutes. The pre-trained language model has the characteristic that once a high quality model is created, it can be applied to various tasks and its, its performance can be improved. Therefore, it is attracting attention uh, in the area of applications as well. We expect that the number of language model applications, including Google and Microsoft search services, will increase in the future. By catching such global trend early, we also started uh, technical verification of Japanese language models in 2018. Currently, it is used in actual services such as Clover text analysis and line AI call, and the application will expand in the future. In addition to developing language models for production, our NLP team is actively doing R&D of large-scale language models and lightweight language models to develop new services. So let's take a look at the key points in developing high-quality language model. This figure shows the model building cycle Due to time constraints, I will not talk about model de de deployment today. In service development, unlike research, the business requirements of the target service are the most important, so I put them in the center. Then, appropriate alg algorithm is selected in a series of processes such as building training data, training the model, and evaluation of the model are repeated until the business requirements are met and for continuous improvement. Here, there, there is one challenge in developing a Japanese language model, that is scaling. This figure shows training data size and model size of the published language models. Green ones are the Japanese models, and the blue ones are English models. As you can see, English language models continue to scale up, both in data size and model size. On the other hand, many Japanese language models have less data than English, so they remain in the lower left range. This also limits their application to business. We solved the data size bottleneck and increased it to over 100 gigabytes. And at the same time, we also scaled the model size up to 1 billion parameters. Specifically, we collected large data of various types of wi to widen the range of applications and put it through the data cleaning system to produce high quality learning data of over 140 gigabytes. The data cleaning system create extracts clean sentences from the raw data uh, shown on the left-hand side by applying the document level filter and sentence level filter in the multi-step processing shown in the right, on the right-hand side. As data and model sizes grow, the model training pipeline will face challenges in storage usage, usage and training speed. As shown in this diagram, we managed to reduce the intermediate storage to less than one-tenth by dynamically generating the training instances, which represent model input in yellow during the training. 
We also improved performance and speed by using the GPU cluster of our NSML platform for distributed training. We have set up six evaluation tasks to continuously track the performance of pre-trained language models. I will explain the tasks from the left. The first is classification task of product review from one to five. The second is the classification task of sentiment analysis between positive and negative. The third is the task of judging the textual entailment of two sentences. And the fourth is the named entity recognition. The fifth is the reading comprehension. The sixth is the question answering task. We also did comparison against external public models. I explained earlier that the model size scaled up to 1 billion parameters. But here, we used a model with the same size of 100 million parameters as other companies' models for fair comparison. This shows the result. Our model got the highest score in four tasks out of six tasks. In particular, textual entailment and named entity recognition gained significantly higher scores compared to other models. On the other hand, the scores for the last two tasks, reading comprehension and question answering, were not good. We found that this was because there was only a small portion of pre-trained data that was useful for these tasks, and we are currently working on improvement. Finally, I hope you can take away these three points from this short session. First, pre-trained language models will be used in more services in the future. Second, LINE is building a high-quality Japanese language model by using large-scale data in solving scale issues in training. Third, there are still many issues to be solved in order to improve the quality of the language model, such as optimizing the data structure and controlling the model output. We will continue to work and develop high-quality language models. Thank you very much.